Hi, welcome to my channel and today I have another theatre vlog for you. So today I'm going to the Palace Theatre in Manchester and I'm going to go and see Sister Act. I'm really excited for this one because there's quite a lot of um, well-known people in it. It's got Jennifer Saunders in it, it's got Keala Settle in it, it's got Lizzie B in it, it's got Leslie Joseph in it, it's got a lot of really good people in it. I'm going to the matinee, so I'm hoping all those stars are still on. Um, I've not heard otherwise. I'm going to the half two show in, and yeah, I'm really excited. I'm sat in the stalls on row O, which I think is the very back row of the stalls on seat one. Uh, I only paid £13 for the ticket and I bought it ages ago before they even announced the cast for this show. So I'm so excited to finally be going to see it. And yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy the vlog. I'll um, show you all the merch that they have there. Hopefully record the curtain call if it's allowed. And yeah, I'm really excited. So I'll get back to you now, probably when I'm at the theatre. Just at the tram station now, just literally missed one, but there is another one in six minutes, so it's not too long to wait. So I'll get back to you now once I'm in town. So I've just got myself some lunch, I've just got a Philip burger um, with a Diet Coke, some gravy and then just come with a piece of chicken in there as well. So I'm just going to eat this and I think I'm going to head to the Fidham Planet before I head to the theatre. So I'm just walking up to the theatre now, I think it's nearly two. So it looks quite busy getting in, it's quite a big queue. I usually get him really early, but this is quite late for me. So I'm actually in the circle, I thought I was in the store. I'm in the circle. It's now 20 past two, the show's about to start in 10 minutes. And I've just checked my ticket and I'm in the circle. I thought I was in the stores. I'm pretty sure I've got the circle, but I've checked my bucket and it does say circle. So I'm not sure what happened there. Um, but the view's okay. I'll show you where I'm sitting and I'll show you my view. And the show's gonna start in 10 minutes, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Is the back of the circle. And I'm on row O, which is about halfway down, or maybe less than halfway. And then this is the view from my seat.
the interval and I'm really enjoying the show. It's so good. Really good production. I'll just tell you more about it now when I get home. I'm now back from the theatre. I did get absolutely drenched on the way home. It was literally like a monsoon. I've not seen rain like that for a long time and it completely ruined my programme. Like you can see it got all wet. It must have leaked, rain must have leaked into my bag and yeah, it's done that. And the cover usually on the front of these programmes is thicker paper but it's really thin on this one. So yeah not happy about that uh, but yeah the show was amazing loved it uh, i don't know if i've mentioned before i've seen six sister act a fair few times i've seen it a couple of times when it's been on tour and i've also seen it in the west end when Whoopi Gold goldberg was in it as mother superior and i've enjoyed every single production except for the last one that i watched with alexandra birkin I don't know why I didn't enjoy that production. There was just something about it. Um, I don't know if they changed some things. I'm pretty sure they took a song out and put a new one in or something. And I didn't like the new song. Can't remember exactly what was different about it. But I just didn't enjoy the production, the last production. Don't know why. I, some other people I spoke to that have seen it said they really enjoyed it. So I don't know why I didn't. Also, my husband, that was the only performance... Uh, of Sister Act he had seen and he didn't like it either and he that's why he didn't come to this one but this production was amazing absolutely loved it there's some big names in this one as well um there's Jennifer Saunders as Mother Superior there's Kiala Settle in it as um Mary Patrick there's Lizzie B who's a big um, West End star she plays um Mary Roberts and who else is in it leslie joseph is in it as well she's uh, mary lazarus so yeah there's a lot of big names in this and it was really really good i really enjoyed it um i was sat in the circle now for some reason i was convinced i had booked the back row of the stalls i was certain that's where i booked i was so sure i was like on the back row of the stalls so and i didn't check my ticket till i got there and apparently I was in the circle, so I was on row O, seat one of the circle. So the view was still good, however, there was, it did have like a lighting rig right in front of my view. Um, so it, it, like at the top of the stage, that sort of cut off your top view of the stage. However, nothing happened at the top of the stage, so I might still managed to see everything. Um, so it was actually quite a good seat, really. If it had been a production where there's things going on at the top of the stage, then it would have blocked it out but this one didn't so it was a pretty good view um the leg room was fine in that seat as well 
so it's a pretty good seat for £13 I only paid £13 for it so I will probably sit there again actually because like I said the view was really good and and the leg room was all right so yeah I think I'll definitely sit there again for £13 usually the £13 seats are usually the back row of the stalls um, the back row of the circle or the f back few rows of the grand tier so this one is sort of halfway down the well maybe not quite halfway down the circle so you get a really good view from it so I was quite pleased with my seat so there was quite a bit of merch for this show they had a hoodie t-shirt mug key ring they had the soundtrack they also had the DVD of Sister Act there as well they had an umbrella they were supposed to have a magnet but surprise surprise they were sold out of magnets now this is only their third show so how they've sold out of magnets already I don't know because it's there for two weeks and then it's going to London this show and there's also a, a UK tour um, so I'm not quite sure how they've run out of magnets on the third show I really don't know my parents are going next week because it's on for two weeks in Manchester so I'm going to get them to have a look if there's magnets when they go if maybe they've restocked them but the last few shows I've been to all the magnets have been sold out so it's not a good idea to collect magnets because they never have any but never mind um, I did get my program even though it's ruined. The program was £5 but the magnet should have been £6. I'm not sure how much everything else was. I did take a picture um, of the price list so you will probably have seen that in the vlog part of the video. So I have to say I really enjoyed the set in this production. I thought it was really good. I love the church set. I think it looked really, it did really look like a gothic church and also the lighting made it look really really good. Um, they have a bit of smoke effect going on as well at some parts but what I really liked is the lighting which made it look like there were stained glass windows shining onto the floor I thought it was really good the way they'd done that I really liked that um, effect that they did so the cast in this like I said there's some big names in it but the whole cast were amazing really enjoyed the performances the singing was outstanding in this Sister Act has got some really catchy tunes in it um, I love all the songs in Sister Act. I bought the album the first time I saw the show because I just thought it was so good. Um, it's one of my, I think it's one of my favourite musicals. I've always said it's one of my favourite musicals and then the last time I saw this, the show I didn't enjoy it. So it went down in my list again. Now I think it's back up there as one of my favourite musicals just because the music is so good. So I think the reason I love the music so much in this one is because the composer is Alan Menken. If you don't know, Alan Menken did a lot of Disney movies. He also did Little Shop of Horrors as well. And I definitely think there's a Disney vibe to some of the music, which I think is why I love it so much. So I think that's why it's like up there with one of my top musicals. So I'll now give you a look at the programme and we can look through the cast list in here as well and I can talk about the cast. Okay, so this is the programme. Like I said, it has sort of been ruined. It's a bit of a mess. I'm so upset about it. But here we go. So as usual, it lets you know some information about shows that are coming up at the Palace and Opera House. And then it gives you a bit of information on the Palace Theatre. I really like that they do this. I like having some information about the theatre in the programme. I think that's nice to have. And then you have oh, your cast biographies. It's not actually a lot in this program. So oh, here you see we have Jennifer Saunders as Mother Superior. Everyone knows Jennifer Saunders, don't they, from French and Saunders. She did absolutely fabulous. So she's a very well-known actress and comedian. And she was really, really good in this, actually. She did have a couple of songs to sing, and she did them really well. I thought she acted through the songs, which actually made them really, really good. So I actually really enjoyed her performance. Then we had Sandra Marvin as Dolores and Cartier. Uh, I think when it goes to London, it's going to be uh, Beverly Knight. But I have to say, I really enjoyed Sandra's performance of Dolores. I thought she did it really, really well. Um... I just really, really enjoyed her. I thought she was a great Dolores. So I'm actually really glad that I got to see her play the part. So I have actually seen Sandra 
before. I've seen her in Waitress uh, when I went to see the tour of Waitress and she was amazing in that as well. She's really, really good. So yeah, I really enjoyed her in this. I think she's also been in Emmerdale at one point as well. So she's been in a few things. And the two times that I've seen her, I think she's really, really good. Then we had Kiala Settle. Um, obviously, she's very famous from being in The Greatest Showman. Um, she played the bearded lady in that. Um, she's done a few other things. She's recently been in Anne Julia on the West End, uh, playing the nurse. Um, but she's also been in a lot of Broadway things as well, I think. Um, let's see what she's been in. She's been in Hands of Hardbody. She's been Madden Tenardier in Les Mis. Becky in the original cast of Waitress. Um, she's played Shirley in Priscilla Queen of the Desert. Um, she's also toured the US as Tracy Turnblad in Hairspray. So I didn't realise she'd done Hairspray. So yeah, she's done quite a few things. And then we had Leg Leslie Joseph as Sister Mary Lazarus. Uh, I remember Leslie Joseph from Birds of a Feather. Was that in back in the 80s? I can't remember, but... I do remember watching it and she was in it. She was really good as Mary Lazarus. I thought she was funny. Um, enjoyed her performance very much. Um, she's been in a lot of things, Leslie Joseph. But like I said, I mostly remember her from Birds of Feather. This is her burger. As you see, she's done a lot of things. Then we have Clive Rowe as Eddie. Um, he was really, really good. Um, really funny. Um, he has done quite a lot of theatre from the looks of it. So he's been all, all those things. Uh, he's done some TV work as well. Yeah, he was good. Then we had Lizzie B, a sister Mary Roberts, and her voice was amazing. Um, when she sings, is it the life I never, li never lived? She was so good. I absolutely loved her performance. Um, I think she's recently been playing Martha Dunstock in Heathers on the, um, at the other palace. Um, I'm not sure what she's done before then. I think she's played Tracy Turnblad in Hairspray. What else has she done? Um, she's been in Kinky Boots, Friends the Musical. Um, so yeah, she's done a few workshops. But yeah, she was really, really good. Really enjoyed her performance. I'd love to see her in something else. It would have been good to see her in Heathers, I think, because I bet she would have been really good in that. Then we have Jeremy Seacombe as Curtis Jackson. Um, he was good. I think last time I watched it, I think because it's Simon Webb, was Curtis, and I think he was really good. So, yeah, this guy was okay. I've not really heard of him before, I don't think. Um, he's been on a few off-Broadway shows. He's been in some West End shows, A Christmas Carol. Um, he's been in Les Mis, Sweeney Todd, Fan of the Opera. So he's been in quite a few things. Then we had Graham Macduff as Monsignor O'Hara. Um, Tracy Dayton as Sister Mary Teresa. Laurie Haley Fox as Mary Martin O'Tours. Damien Begare as Pablo. Tom Hopcroft as Joey. Bradley Judge as TJ. Marcel Parker as Clement, Tanya Edwards as Tina, Gabriella Davina Smith as Michelle, Catherine Milsom as the Nun Ensemble, and then the rest are your Nuns and Ensemble members. swings so 
So that's your cast, and here you have your cast list. And then you've got your understudies. Uh, there was no understudies on for this show that I'm aware. I didn't notice any understudies. It all seemed to be the full cast. There's no announcements of any understudies. And it also tells you orchestra. Then you've got your musical numbers. So in Act 1, you've got Take Me to Heaven, Fabulous Baby, Here Within These Walls, When I Find My Baby, It's Good to Be a Nun, I could be that guy, raise your voice, uh, take me to heaven reprise. And then in act two, got Sunday morning fever, lady in a long back dress, haven't got a prayer, bless our show, the life I never led, fabulous baby reprise, sister act, the life I never led reprise, sister act reprise, spread the love around and raise your voice reprise. So that's all the musical numbers. And then here you've got your other, uh, your creative, your composers, your lyricists, your book, and all the other people involved in the show. And that's all that seems to be in this one. Yeah, there's no, um, there's no articles in this. Like a lot of programmes, they have a couple of articles. This is literally just your cast list and your production team, and that is it. There's no articles at all in this programme. So, yeah, I don't really think that's worth the £5, really. I suppose you get the cast list, but it's nice to have a couple of articles to read usually, and there's just, there's just no articles in this programme. It's just literally cast list, um production team and then some adverts and that is literally it so yeah I'm a bit disappointed with the program to be honest there's um, nothing nothing really in that at all so yeah not the best of programs Yes, yeah, so Sister Act is on at the Manchester Palace Theatre until the 9th of July. It's then going on a UK tour and it's also going for a limited run in the West End as well. So there's going to be two different casts. So from the cast from Manchester, Jennifer Saunders, Kiala Settle and who else? Lizzie B, they're all going to the West End show. Sandra Marvin and Leslie Joseph are going on the tour, obviously with some other cast members as well. I'm not too sure who's in the cast for the tour. So I've just checked the cast for London and actually Leslie Joseph is in the London cast so she can't be on the tour cast. Um, so I'll have to check who's on the tour cast. I'll just check that now. So yeah, I'm not sure, quite sure how this is going to work. So apparently Leslie Joseph and Lizzie B are in the London cast and the tour cast. Now, is this a tour not start then until after the London performances? Um, it mustn't do then. I thought the tour started at the same time, but maybe the tour must start after. Because, um, yeah, Leslie Joseph and Lizzie B are in the tour as well, so... And so is Clive Rowe. So I'm assuming the t rest of the tour must start after the London run. So in the rest of the tour, it's going to be Leslie Joseph as Mother Superior, Sandra Marvin as Dolores, Clive Rowe as Eddie, Lizzie B as Sister Mary Roberts, Jeremy Seacombe as Curtis Jackson, Catherine Milsom as Sister Mary Patrick. Um, so she's replaced in... Um, Kayla Settle, Kiala Settle, uh, Anne Smith as Sister Mary Lazarus. So Leslie Joseph in the tour is playing Mother Superior, whereas in the Manchester one and the London one, she is playing Sister Mary Lazarus. So she's playing a different part on the tour than she is in the London and the Manchester shows. So I think that's all the main cast. So for London, I think the cast is pretty much the same as the Manchester cast, except Beverly Knight is going to be playing Dolores. However, Sandra Marvin is going to play Dolores and selected performances according to this. 
Um, so for the London cast, you have Jennifer Saunders as Mother Superior, Beverly Knight as Dolores from Cartier, Kiala Settle as Sister Mary Patrick, Leslie Joseph as Sister Mary Lazarus, Clive Rowe as Eddie, uh, Lizzie B as Sister Mary, Mary Roberts, and then it says Sandra Marvin as Dolores at certain performances. And then the rest of the cast is the same as Manchester. So like I said, Sister Act is playing at the Manchester Palace until the 9th of July. Um, the tour, the rest of the tour then doesn't start till September. So it's going to start in Dublin um, on the 20th of September. It then moves to Birmingham, Leicester, Cardiff, Aberdeen, Glasgow, Milton Keynes, Plymouth, Norwich, Belfast, Dartford, Landudno, Woking, Bristol, Leeds, Sheffield, Ipswich, Southampton, Nottingham, Liverpool, Wolverhampton, Canterbury, Newcastle, Oxford, Stoke-on-Trent, there's a lot of stops on this tour, Edinburgh, Cheetahum, che Cheltenham, and Derry, London, Londonderry, and that's all the places it's going to on tour. I will leave a link below to the Sister Act website so you can check out all the tour places and book tickets if you want to. Um, I'll just tell you what the dates are for London in case you want to know that. So the show will be on at the Eventim Apollo in London from the 19th of July till the 28th of August. So yeah, I definitely recommend this show. Like I said, the music in this is really fun. Don't be disappointed because uh, the songs from the movie are not in the musical. There was a lot of people complaining that obviously hadn't seen the musical before that none of the songs were in it from the movie and they were not happy about it. They were complaining a lot. Um, so yeah, don't go and see this expecting the songs from the movie because they're not in it. This is it's got its own songs in, but the, all the songs in it are really, really good. Um, you'll definitely enjoy it. So yeah, go and get a ticket because they say it's really good. Like I said, you can get tickets from £13. I think they go up to maybe about £70, something like that, for the tour. Um, but like I said, I sat in a £13 seat and my view was really good. So don't think you have to spend a load of money to go and get a good seat. You can get good seats for just £13. So definitely affordable. So if you do enjoy my little theatre vlogs, me and Lauren, my husband Lawrence are actually going to London tomorrow. I'm so excited. We're going to London. We're seeing two shows. We're going to see Frozen and we're also seeing Dear Evan Hansen. And possibly the next day we may go and see Anne Juliet for the matinee. We've not decided yet. We're going to see if we can get rush tickets maybe or we might go. We've got to see what we get done in, in the morning and see if we get to go and see Anne Julia. I would like to go and see if we can. Um, so if you would like to see vlogs for any of those shows, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell and those videos will be going up very soon. So I hope you have enjoyed this little vlog. If you have, please do give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you again soon for another theatre vlog. Bye!